And with all the work I've been trying to get that loose, the rotor, the rust must have given. So there's what she looks like. Now, I'll just slide this in there. Put some grease on those splines so it'll pull in. Well, I finally got tired of messing around. So, 11 16 on both sides of this to take the bolt out of through here. Three quarters for the two bolts going up through there. And then it slid off this. I already took that off. So now, I'll set this up so I can get medieval with that and just pound it out. So I think I'll get it done. Well, I wish I videotaped that. Just one whack and it popped out. Wish I had done that a little while ago. Well, I already just slid the new one. Just slid it up in the hole. Put the bolt in place to hold this in place. Now I just get to Put that bolt through there, then the two going up over here, and line this up, line that up, and put it the way I saw it in the beginning. So I first put this three quarters on finger tight. Then I put these, well, 19 millimeter, three quarters, whatever. Put these in, finger tight. Then I went to this pass through bolt, kept wiggling it around, and used something smaller diameter to put through to find that right spot for to go and I just keep wiggling this around until I get out get it to come out this side and then I'll start tightening all these down and of course put this back through here and then that bracket that'll hold that up there Okay, as long as I got them all through and in, I tightened the two 916s here and the two half inch on this end. And next I've got to do that 12 millimeter, hook this hook in and 12 millimeter bolt up there. And then this, what is this, this is 9 16 hit there, and I'll tighten this 9 16 nice and snug. Now I put a jack under the A-frame to make, uh, to bring this up so that when I put the bolt back in, for this mount, it was easy. I didn't have to push and try to lift it as I was doing it. The jack did the lifting for me. And when I did that, it put upward pressure onto the new lower ball joint, which made it so it didn't turn. So after I took the jack out, I was able to finish tightening it down. Now. This has got one of those Teflon 
nuts so it doesn't need the cotter pin. So that won't be there. I made sure that the splash guard for the rotor is away from the rotor in case I accidentally bumped it and bent it and that way I prevent any squeaking. So the next thing is to put the 17 millimeters put the caliper back in its place, tighten it down then all I've got is put the tire back on when I've got the tire, or I put the rotor on and I did draw the stud out some, it's not completely out you can take any straight edge you know and you can you can see that it's not going to line up with that other bolt need to come out a little bit more so after I put the tire on I'll finish drawing this out and I'll keep checking it periodically as it gets pulled out and I, as I drive along until it's all the way out and then this will be nice and snug again another thing is since we compressed the caliper before you try going anywhere pump the brakes a couple times to bring that back out or you'll find you have no brakes